Hello, uh, my name's Laura. Uh, I'm a reportage artist um, and I work in London. Um, I studied illustration and then since then I've been doing kind of bits of illustration work and reportage drawing projects and teaching. And I am doing a project currently in South Tyneside uh, trying to document the local area. Reportage drawing is a kind of drawing where you work on location and it's all about visual storytelling, so kind of describing a moment and sort of drawing quickly. Uh, the focus is sort of on telling a story rather than making a perfect drawing and you're right in the middle of where all the action's happening. So, yeah, it's working quickly, it's sort of talking to people and making a drawing that sort of reflects a moment in time or an activity or event happening, whether that's an everyday sort of thing like a market or a special event like a kind of festival or something like that. Uh, so I personally enjoy doing reportage drawing because I think uh, it's a really exciting opportunity to make work that's really influenced by people around you and things that are going on. You're just, you're not sort of trapped in a studio making work and thinking of all the stories and stuff yourself. You're talking to people and being led by things that are actually happening in the world. Uh, yeah, and it's really interesting just going and chatting to people and sort of trying to get their stories, get their input on what you're doing. And yeah, it keeps you humble. It's sort of nice drawing outside and sort of someone will come over and say, oh, what are you doing? And then they'll have a look at it and then be like, oh, I could do that. So it's sort of, yeah, it's nice because you don't get too, uh, too lost in the work. It's always uh, someone's coming over and having a chat or there's a new thing happening that you've got to try and get in there. Um, yeah, things like drawing at the football and stuff like that, it's just sort of fun. You're out there in the cold and people aren't really that impressed with you. Um, so it's a kind of nice environment to take the pressure off yourself and you're just kind of seeing what happens really. So this project uh, is obviously a collaboration with The Word. Um, I came down in February. Uh, to start doing some drawings on location. Um, so I was around in February and March uh, going and meeting people and making drawings, uh, drawing the market, uh, drawing in the library, uh, drawing in pubs, going and visiting different kind of uh, local groups and organisations. Um, yeah, having a really nice time, getting my diary booked. Uh, the idea of the project was a kind of snapshot of life in South Tyneside uh, over February and March and then there was going to be an exhibition at the Word um, yeah, in the summer so everyone could kind of come and see the drawings and all that sort of stuff uh, but then halfway through March obviously lockdown and Covid happened um, so towards the end of the project uh, I've got a lot of drawings where people are sort of talking about it there's a lot of you know singing happy birthday and washing your hands and things and people talking about masks and things um, and it just felt like something that was you know on the horizon uh, and then suddenly yeah I had to had to pack up the project and we're picking it back up now uh, and it's going to be in a sort of more online capacity so uh, drawing people over zoom uh, I've done a few sessions trying to draw things going on at the word with me on an iPad uh, standing on some boxes and stuff so it's a different way of drawing but it's still sort of using the same principles of trying to see what's actually happening and sort of document, uh, yeah, the sort of strange stuff about that really, but less face-to-face uh, -face interaction, which is a shame, but hopefully um, it'll be an interesting contrast to see, like, the drawings that are made from before, uh, you can see some of them in the background there, um, with the drawings that I make over Zoom and sort of combining those together, hopefully talking to some of the same people, seeing what's going on, uh, and yeah, giving everyone a sort of reminder of what was so great about Ty South Tyneside and how the community's kind of pulling together in this new strange situation, basically. All of the drawings are going to be going up online, so there's going to be a little diary and images from what I did before, so we can kind of compare and sort of see what the project was sort of heading towards. Um, and then, yeah, having the kind of updates of stuff, basically. So it would be like a kind of little online diary where you can see how the project's going and you're just trying to uh, document the community um, and sort of celebrate South Tyneside and what makes it really unique. Um, 
it was really interesting just talking to people on location about South Tyneside. Obviously, I'm not from South Tyneside, so um, I think it helps to kind of not be from somewhere and hear all the stories and, you know, have people sort of appreciate and re-examine what's nice about the place that they live um, and think about all this kind of stuff going on there that's quite unique and interesting. Um, and hopefully this sort of COVID uh, thing will inspire sort of new ways of becoming a community and working together and different uh, connections between people really and sort of celebrating what's uh, what's nice and what's important.